how do I feel about the fairy doors that are so popular? Uh, not not good. Now, it doesn't give me a good feeling in my tummy when I look at those fairy doors. I have not got any time for them, to be perfectly honest. And they came around from the 90s in America. Some guy did it in his house for his kids and then it ended up in a cafe. And somehow Irish people have picked them up. And there's the Irish Fairy Door Company, which I'm not entirely convinced is not actually run by fairies. Ask me about that at some point. But they literally talk about giving, like giving your secrets to the fairies, <clears throat> that they'll take away all your problems. There's one of them from that company that has a little handprint on it and the child is supposed to put their hand in and tell them like their deepest, darkest problems. And like, that seems like a very, very bad idea and a very bad idea to give to your children and to allow your children to engage in because with regard to actual fairy lore in Ireland, that would be like the worst possible thing. I mean, parents literally used to use piss to protect their children from talking to the fairies. That is documented time and time again in our folklore as a deterrent because the fairies don't like dirty things. So if a child was seen to be going around with the fairies or being spoken to by fairies or speaking to fairies or hanging out at fairy forts or any of that, the mother usually would literally put piss on the child's dress or trousers or clothing and send them off to school again. And the fairy woman wouldn't go near them at that point. Like that's an actual account from Dukas, but it's not just one, there's many of them. And like, how did we get from there to, I'm going to put this fairy door in my garden or worse, in my child's fucking bedroom or in a hospital ward that's like the, in the children's hospital, the fairy doors. Yeah. So I do not feel good about fairy doors. I am not okay with this. I do not think it's a good idea to have your children anywhere near fairy doors, any kind of doorway to the other world. Again, we have a very, very strong tradition in Ireland of, say, for example, covering mirrors after somebody dies, um, closing the curtains, making sure that access portals, we hang Bridget, Bridget's crosses over doorways, we hang iron horseshoes over doorways, any kind of boundary, doorway, gateway, sacred sites, anything like that. Protection is the thing. You don't want to open a portal to the other fucking world. That is the worst idea. Absolutely the worst. So please don't get fairy doors. Please don't engage with fairy doors. Please, please teach your children to protect themselves from fairies because I'm not okay with any of this. This is Laura O'Brien from the Irish Pagan School. I've written a whole book on the fairy faith in Ireland. If you want to go and Google that, you'll find it. Um, it gives a lot of examples of this. Uh, we have other videos on the channel. We have blog posts at irishpagan.school. We have videos on our YouTube channel. If you want to know more about fairies, there is a lot of resources, a lot of information. Please, please make use of it.